Good morning, everybody. Well, we made it. We've made it to the half term break. I suppose a few months ago, we didn't know what was going to happen when schools reopened. But I do want to thank you all very, very much for all your cooperation and your help in getting us back to school uh, at the end of August. Uh, I suppose July and August were quite hectic months, uh, very pressurised and very stressful from the, from the school's point of view. But we got there and we reopened and we're still, fingers crossed, COVID free. So now we head into the half term break and I hope you all have a good rest. And I hope all our teachers and our SNAs and our staff here in the school also have a, a good rest because it has been quite a stressful at two months with all our new procedures in place. Um, the school is quite different. Um, there's no uh, sound of children going around the corridors. There's no children at assembly in the hall. There's no PE in the hall. And uh, teaching and learning has changed slightly. We're doing a lot of outdoor activities and uh, we are doing a lot of practical and mindfulness and uh, well-being as well and have been over the past few months. But now, as I said, we head into the half term and hopefully we'll come out with a little bit more refreshed and let's aim for getting to Christmas as a, a COVID free school. As I said, thank you for your support, but we need that support to continue. So what I'm asking you from my heart and from the staff here and everybody in the school is please abide by the level five restrictions over the half term. Please, no parties. Please, no sleepovers. And please just adhere to those five kilometre distances and no, no big family get togethers or anything. Because if we do have a case, it will affect some classes, it will affect some pods and some classes, and we don't want that to, to, to happen as has happened in, in other schools. So we are asking you to please adhere by the level five restrictions over the half term. It's very, very important for us if we are to keep the schools open uh, over the next few months that these uh, restrictions are adhered to by everybody. We'll be doing our best in the school here to keep the school COVID free. As you know, we have sanitising going on every day, hand washing, we have one way systems, we have our yellow lines and parents, I'm watching to make sure that you're staying behind those yellow lines. Um, but we have had to put um, restrictions, let's say, here in the school as well. So as I said, we're looking for your continued cooperation and you can help us by not having parties, by not having big get togethers and no sleepovers because we are hearing of some of these things happening at the present moment. And, you know, we get a bit dejected when we hear things like that. So I hope everybody has a good half term. I'm hoping to have a good half term. As I said, I know the rest of the staff are as well. And we'll see you back in school on the 2nd of November, hopefully all healthy, all well. And we will be maintaining those procedures in our school on for the foreseeable future until HSC tells us uh, that we, we don't need them anymore. Um, just on, I suppose, possible cases, as you know, and as I've said before in an email to you, um, if we do have a positive case in the school, uh, it's up to the HSE to contact me as the principal in the school and advise me then what to do. I can't go and close down the school or a pod or whatever until I get that advice from the HSE. And as well as that, I know some of you have been hearing about people with positive cases, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's inappropriate for me to comment on any of those cases that I might hear of. And also, as I said, that is confidential information and it's information that the HSE has and they inform me as a principal then what to do. So as I said, hopefully we don't have positive cases in the near future, uh, but we have a protocol in place to put in place if we do have one. So look, have a good Halloween break, enjoy it with your family, and we'll see you back in school on November the 2nd. Slongafold.